a lot of people have been saying that America is behind when it comes to moving to a clean, clean new renewable energy future and moving away from fossil fuels, from coal and gas, to solar, batteries, and wind power. And they would be right. It is true America is behind many countries in the Western world. However, projects like this insanely large 11 billion US dollar renewable energy project in one of the windiest places on the earth are going to help America catch up pretty fast. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. The Sun Zia Transmission Project is the largest clean energy project in the United States history. Full construction has already begun. In fact, it happened approximately towards the end of December, about the 26th of December. Sunzia is a massive, or Sunzia is a massive clean energy project in the US Southwest where it gets very, very windy. And it's closed an $11 billion non-recourse financing and launched full construction. Daniel Elcourt, Executive Vice President at Patton Energy, the, project, the project's California-based developer, said this, the size and scale of the project and this multifaceted financing show that the renewable energy space can secure attractive capital levels at levels previously only seen in the traditional generation. So he basically is saying, in the past, we've only seen this kind of money spent on nuclear energy. Really, it's true. Uh, nuclear plants can cost up to $15 billion just for one. The largest clean energy project in the US comprises two arms, Sun Zia or Sun Zia Wind and Sun Zia Transmission. The projects employ more than 2,000 workers during construction, including heavy equipment operators, electricians, laborers, and of course, numerous other workers. Sun Zia Wind is the largest wind project in the Western Hemisphere. The 3,500 megawatt wind farm is being built across New Mexico's counties of Torrance, Lincoln and San Miguel. Sunzia's transmission is a 550 mile high voltage direct current HVDC transmission line between central New Mexico and south central Arizona. When complete, it will have the capacity to transport 3000 megawatts of clean energy. Sunzia transmission will enable Sunzia wind to supply customers in Arizona and in California, where there's, what, a population now of more than 40 million people, during early evening hours when the sun starts to go down and when demand is extremely high, but renewable energy starts to become more scarce, so when there's no sun hitting the solar panels, for example. It's going to use the same corridor as the Western Spirit transmission line. Wind turbine giant Vestas announced that it's secured a firm order from Patent Energy to supply 242 enormous wind turbines for the wind farm. So 242 of the biggest wind turbines in the world. The 1.1 gigawatt order is Vesta's largest order to date in the US market and its largest single onshore project in the world. It's also the largest order globally for Vesta's newest high capacity wind turbine. So it's a, a much more efficient wind turbine than previously. The speed of deployment for this wind farm looks absolutely staggering. Here's the thing. Nuclear power plants, they can work really well, but they take many, many years, generally up to a decade to be built. With projects like this, they happen at lightning speed. Apparently for this project, turbine delivery will begin in the first quarter of 2025, so in about a year from now. Final commissioning is scheduled for approximately the start to the mid of 2026. So in two years from now, we'll have the biggest Western, the biggest wind farm in the Western Hemisphere. It'll be inland in the United States, and it's, it's gonna be revolutionary. I mean, this is the kind of project that will change much of America's perception of clean energy, of wind energy, of, the best way to generate energy and to move it from one place to another. It's awesome to see. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.